In today's episode, we meet Derek. He's invented a solar-powered air freshener. He's putting it to the toughest stink test ever, the barnyard. Will the air freshen, or will that stink stay? Not really designed for a farm. some of the world's most famous inventions were invented by kids? And did you know that some kids are even starting their own companies? Come along and think big. And we'll see how these everyday kids are doing it. Because they're just like you and me. And you know what? You can do it too. Many inventions make life more comfortable. A fan to cool you off, or a back scratcher to reach those hard to reach places. Today, we're gonna meet Derek. He's been inventing since he was five years old. Now, he's gonna put his latest invention, the solar-powered air freshener, to the test. Take it away, Derek. I'm Derek Martinez, and I'm a kid inventor. My name is Derek Christian Martinez, and I am 10 years old, and I live in Connecticut. We don't have to travel too far to get to Connecticut. It's just right down here. My dog's name is Diki, and my hedgehog's name is Hedgy. She's about one and a half years old, and she's a very nice hedgehog. I know, Hedgy, it's gonna be okay. She's like the cutest hedgehog on Earth. As you can see, her treats are freeze-dried mealworms. I live here with my mom, dad. Derek, I'm making you snack hunt, okay? Okay, thank okay. you. Yes, my family does give me a lot of encouragement. When your family says we're really proud of you for doing this and that, it helps a lot. It gives you a boost, yeah. I want to be an astronaut. I'm going to wear one of these one day. First choice is Mars, second choice is the moon, third choice is the International Space Station, maybe? Well, nah, I don't know. I want to go to Mars. Another of Derek's interests is archery. And to do it well, it takes a lot of time and dedication, just like inventing. A inventor has to have patience, and he also has to concentrate on what he's doing. An inventor has to try lots of times to get a perfect invention. So let's have you shoot a few and see what's going on. Now pull all the way to your head. Excellent. All the way to that anchor point. Beautiful. See these, these little wings right back here? Mm -hmm. Crunch them together. Crunch, 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 crunch. There. And you might want to move. Good. Beautiful. Ooh. Dead center. <laughs> that was awesome. Can I get a high five on that one? Good job. Beautiful. Yeah. It's like a bullseye. I got a bullseye. I That's like a beautiful bullseye. So you know what we call that, Derek? What? We call that killing the spider. Killing right? a spider. I killed the spider. His first invention came out of hard work and necessity, from having trouble reading in the back seat of a car. What it does is, let's say, you're riding in the car, reading a book, and it gets dark or they're really bumpy. You can avoid bumps. And let's say it was nighttime, you can turn on the light. I, I, did, I did all the wiring myself in first grade. It basically has the, the batteries, and then the first wire goes up to the switch, and the switch goes back and forth, and then it goes back down this wire to the light bulb, and that's how the ABX works. Okay. Then this, not this, this is my third grade invention. AAF stands for Automatic Air Freshener, the AF. Now what it is, is a solar powered air freshener. <laughs> this has a really strong scent since it's new, and so I have to put it in the bag. Whoa, because my mom and dad, uh, the smell, it's such a strong smell, it's so new and such a strong smell that it gives them a headache. The air freshened air, air freshens the air freshener. 
in the air freshener bag. Well, this is how the air freshener goes in. It goes like this. So then what happens is the sun would be here. And you see, I, this is Velcro. It's on the back of the solar panel and on the front middle of the horizontal wood plank. That means, and I can move it around any way I like, what happens is inside the solar panel, there's silicon and boron, and light is made up of many, 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 many photons, thousands of billions of trillions of photons. And what happens is the photons go down to the solar panel, and the silicon and boron inside the solar panel makes electricity. And so the electricity the solar panel makes travels down these wires and into the motor. Now the motor spins turning the fan. The fan blows air through the tube. And now I have what I like to call the sun. This is a very high powered light. And whenever I show the AF, I bring my sun with me to show everybody. As I turn on the sun, and there it goes. Mm, that smells so good. And that's how the AAF works. Okay, so I've got my AAF right here, and I'm gonna give it a shot. Well, it's a bright light. Hear it going? Take a whiz. Mmm, it smells really good. But how can you test something that you can't see? How should I test my AAF? Hmm, I think I'll do a stink test. So what exactly is a stink test? We're gonna do a stink test at a farm, and what we're gonna do is we're gonna smell on the animals, and they're probably gonna stink a good amount, and then we're gonna bring in the app, and the app is going to air fresh in the barn. And then, you know, we could have a birthday for the president in the barn would smell so nice. <gasps> Cows and pigs probably smell the most. Yeah, I think it's gonna work. Yes, it will be done. You know what smells good? Freshly baked chocolate chip cookies. And did you know that chocolate chip cookies were invented accidentally? Ruth Wakefield and her husband ran a tourist lodge called the Toll House Inn, and she was baking cookies for her guests. She was gonna make chocolate cookies, but she was out of the usual baker's chocolate. Her solution? To substitute with broken pieces of semi-sweet chocolate. She expected them all to melt into the dough. However, when she took them out of the oven, she realized that she had accidentally invented chocolate chip cookies. Well, that accident soon became one of the most popular cookies in North America. The chocolate chip cookie, a great accidental invention. I wonder what other bright ideas are out there. Do you ever have trouble sleeping because your pillow's too hot? Well, we've got the solution for you. The frost pillow. Hi, my name is Selene. I'm Miriam. And I'm Jasmine. And we're the inventors of the Frost Pillow. The Frost Pillow is a personal cooling pad. If you ever have trouble sleeping, the Frost Pillow is for you. Cool at room temperature. The Frost Pillow is activated by simply filling it with water. The Frost Pillow is for all ages. It is made for people who suffer from nighttime problems. Lynn's invention is secure, lasting, and gives off a super soothing sensation, which doesn't blow air or make noise. It's an all new invention. It secure runs off a very tranquil effect that will give you a wonderful sleep night after night. I'm so tired. I've been flipping my pillow all night last night. Yeah, I know it was so hot. I didn't get any sleep at all. I've been using the Frost Pillow, and its cooling sensation gives me a wonderful sleep every day. You guys should really try it. Get lost in your sleep with the Frost Pillow. I bet there's lots of stuff you can find around your house that make a great invention. But sometimes the hard part is just coming up with a good idea. Derek has a lot of ideas. How does he do it? He does archery and he wants to be an astronaut and go into outer space. Are you thinking what I'm thinking? A rocket ship! I'm gonna make my rocket out of cardboard and stuff. Now, I have to figure out how I can power it. 
At first, I was thinking that I could tape a rubber ball to the bottom of it and then bounce the rocket into the air. But I think that it might be kind of hard to control. Now, I'm thinking that maybe I can get it up using the force of air. Maybe a balloon will work. Nope. How about a milk or juice carton? If I stomp on it hard, that rocket should get going. This is gonna be so awesome. Now, let's meet Kelsey. Her family runs a blueberry farm, and she's come up with a great new invention to keep away the birds so that they don't eat their crop. She lives in Abbotsford, BC, Canada. Let's check it out. Hi, my name's Kelsey, and I'm a kid inventor. My name is Kelsey Mosterman. I'm 13 years old, and I live on a blueberry farm in Abbotsford, BC. We grow blueberries, we have water plants, perennials, and an acre of Christmas trees. We have two dogs. One dog's name is Pokey, and my other dog's name is Molly. Ooh, good boy. I have two cats. One cat's name is Moonshine, and another cat's name is Droppy. She's a very good mouser. She catches all our mice. My brother Alex is 14 years old and he's turning 15 on April 25th. For fun around the farm, I like to just go outside and bounce on the tramp, quadding, dirt biking, just biking around the road, climb trees. Me and my friend like to play this game called Tree Tag, where you just climb through the trees and pretty much play tag. We have specific tree frogs in our greenhouses. Well, when it's raining, the frogs croak a lot because of the noise. I'm not quite sure why, and I always enjoy ca uh, catching the frogs in this greenhouse and the other greenhouses. See that? I think the coolest part about living on a farm is wide open spaces, just being able to go outside and enjoy the sunshine. If you haven't been on a farm, you should definitely experience it. It's tons of fun. I like eating blueberries when I'm picking them, just stuff my face when I'm picking them off the bush or making them into smoothies. Are you sick and tired of getting your bird deterrent kite string caught on the blueberry bushes? Getting all tangled and torn and dirty? I know I am. Finally, there's an invention designed to keep your string nice and neat, no matter what your wind conditions are. So say bye-bye to the birdies and hello to easy living. Brought to you by the Mosterman Blueberry Farm. People use kites um, on blue, uh, berry farms to scare off the birds because they imitate birds of prey. When people just use a kite by itself, the problem with it is that it falls down into the blueberry bushes, gets tangled in the plants when there's no wind. My invention mimics the bird of prey. It's much uh, more effective than a normal kite. It's able to fly at different heights, making it more believable, and it doesn't fall into the berries. Okay, now, see what I could do, Dad? So I could get it like this. I kind of came up with the idea over the summer. Um, I was tired of getting the kite out of the blueberries, and then I talked it over with my family, and I came up with the model that I have now. My kite is held suspended by a balloon, so when there's no wind, it's still able to fly. And then when the wind does uh, come, then it's able to pull the string out of my four tubes. So it's able to fly at different heights depending on the wind. And then when the wind stops, it, the uh, weights will pull the string back in again so it doesn't fall into the plants and get tangled in the berries. I had lots of problems with the string twisting, the weights getting stuck, friction in the top of the tubes. Um, the stand, the helium balloon. So there is some problems with it, but you just have to keep working, working. You just gotta be really serious about it and know your stuff and be able to explain it. And then people will think, oh, this girl knows what she's talking about. I had to just keep going, keep going, and keep going, fixing the string because I bought weights. The weights wouldn't fit inside the tubes. I had the strings twisting around each other. It's really frustrating after a while, but then, when I had it done, it was just like, yes, it was worth it. <laughs> Let's check out another famous kid invention, the helicopter. Igor Sikorsky was inspired by the drawings of Leonardo da Vinci and the stories of Jules Verne. 
When he was only 12 years old, he even created a model of a helicopter powered by a rubber band. Then, in 1909, when he was 19 years old, Igor created the design for the modern helicopter. Others had tried, but it was Igor's design that became the basis for the modern helicopter. He patented his design in 1931 and even test piloted his own helicopters. The helicopter, an uplifting invention invented by a kid. You can think big too. Are you tired of losing your pencils? Are you tired of being unorganized? Are you tired of being late to your destination? Well, we got the dispenser. Hi, I'm Mohammed. And I'm Shiva. And my name is Dalton. Hi, my name is Jimmy. This is a dispenser, and it's basically a pencil dispenser. So all you have to do is just pop it out, get your pencil, and you're on the go, and you're good to go. See how this pencil isn't sharpened? Well, this is where the sharpening component of our dispenser kicks in. Inside, there's a sharpener right there. So you sharpen it basically from there. All the pencil shavings go out in there, and then you just throw them out. I was a technology person, and I designed the dispensal on the computer. I was the writer, and I helped, and I wrote facts about the dispensal. I was the one that was speaking towards the people that wanted to know about the dispensal. And I was a designer, and I designed cartoons for our invention. With the dispensal, yeah. you're on, on the go, go and good, good to go. go. Now, let's get back to Derek. He's invented a solar-powered air freshener and is about to test it with other kids for the first time. Right now, he's headed for the farm. And now, Derek, we're gonna meet your friends there? Yes, my friends. Okay. My awesome. horse, Susan. horse friends, and my bunny friends, and my chicken friends, and my pig friends, and my human friends. That looks like it's it. Okay, there's the horse farm. Yep, there's the horse farm. Straight ahead. Super. It's time for the big stink test. And with all these animals, there's no shortage of stink on this farm. Derek has arrived at the farm, but will his invention be able to do the job? Hi, Cinnamon. Hi, how you doing? Want some of this? Yeah. You like that. Yeah, you like that. I'm confident mostly, but not really designed for a farm, especially in this windy weather. It is designed for something that smells stinky, but it just, the, it, the wind isn't, it's, it, the wind, it's not made for winds like these. Derek's got a group of kids together to help him judge the stink test. Hi, guys. Here. Hello. I have my invention, the automatic air freshener, and what it does, is it air freshens places. And what we're gonna do is we're gonna do a stink test. And we're gonna use the air freshener and turn it on using solar energy. And we're gonna see if it smells better. Got it? Got it. Everybody raise your hand if we think we can do it. Everybody votes that we can do it! Yay! Yay! Okay, everybody. One, two, three. We're gonna take a deep breath, okay? One, two, three. Okay, what do you think that is? Uh, three? Three, yeah, I think yeah, three's good. Three. Yeah, okay. Wanna go check out the other ones? Yeah. Sure. Okay. Ugh. Oh, that everybody. That's really cool. I can smell it. Nice. It's a good thing that the wind's going into the barn, not out of it. Mmm. Smells better already. It, it smells, smells way better. Okay, I think that's enough. Let's rate it now. Okay. So everybody, take a deep breath on three. One, two, three. Mmm, smells really good. That would be, yeah, really I good. I think that smells really good. It smells piney. That smells good. Mmm, smells much better. It's now like a nine and a half instead of a two. Yeah, I think every barn should have one of these. 
That smells awesome. A-A-F! The stink test was awesome! I think this was a great day, and it was really successful. I'm very happy with the AAF, and I think that this barn was the perfect place to do the stink test. The stink test was very good. I, I think I, yeah, I think it was very good. When it was stinky, it was like a two and a three. We agree. When it was, when we turned on the app, it was like a nine and a ten. Sometimes you can learn more from your failures than you can your successes. Keep thinking. That's all you have to do in life. If you think a lot in life, you can do anything you want. Anything. Well, there you have it. Derek thought of it. He made it, and he successfully tested his invention. If he keeps on thinking big, he just might make it as an astronaut. But you know if Derek can do it, so can you. All you have to do is think big. Oh, I think I'm ready. I'm gonna try launching my rocket. Wonder how far it'll go. Well, it went farther than I thought it would. I think I'm gonna need to clean this up. See you next time, and remember to think big.